Okay, we've got some people on. Yeah, so I thought today's been a good day. I thought I'd go live and just uh, come say hello to all you guys. Let you know what's going on in my uh, crazy life in these crazy times. Yeah, I've just been working a lot on my websites at the moment. I just want to be creating content for... Hey, Lewis, you right, mate? Yeah, I really want to be getting on with creating content, but I've been uh, really looking at my websites and they're not really in 2021 at the moment. So I'm getting all them done first and just getting on with that and um, getting a little bit of help with uh, a marketer at the moment because I've been trying to learn this marketing thing. Thumbs up, mate. Yeah, I've been trying to learn this marketing thing and um, I realise you can't just do it all on your own. Like, you better get in a professional who's done it all their life to help you, pay them a little bit of money and then you can just focus on doing what you enjoy, which is creating content and helping people. Um, I had a lad come round today. He um, come to get some more Quenda and he was really happy because um, he's only been on it a month and um, he's already, like, his digestion's got a lot better. He's not passing blood anymore. and um, he was just eager to help me as well. He was like, I just want to get the message out there and um, help you get it out to other people because we're talking about it. Like, there's a lot of suppliers in Australia, like thousands of suppliers in Australia. Then um, I got me over here in um, in England trying to just get it out to people and spread the word. Obviously, it's a little bit hard because you've got to have it classed as a food and not a medicine, even though it does have a few medicinal properties. But um, yeah, we're getting on it. Brexit's just been in as well, and because I import everything from Australia, um, that's uh, added a few more costs to it as well. So I'm trying to um, reduce the duty of when I sell it into Europe at the moment, which is um, interesting to say the least. I've uh, I've just set up a duty deferment account and stuff like that though, so that should help a little bit um, with charges and stuff like that. And then also I've got um, 800 tubs coming over, like I've got a pallet coming over on sea, for, sea freight and um, that's been delayed. That was supposed to come in on the on the 15th of January and now it's been delayed to the, um, what do I sell? I sell Quenda Ultimate Fiber, that stuff all above me up there. You can't really see it on the camera too well. But what it is, it's like a herbal supplement. I used it to fix my Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And um, yeah, it, it worked. So, um, and it was selling really well in Australia. So um, I brought it over to the UK and now I help people with their autoimmune conditions and digestive problems. But yeah, just uh, the shipments had to turn around and go to a different part at the moment. It's uh, gonna come in at um, on the 10th, hopefully on February. Oh nice one Bobby C. Yeah you think um you think we're gonna get a trade agreement with Australia. I tried playing that one um with customs and stuff. I was like look um Australian origin it's coming over we shouldn't have any duty because I have to pay thirteen percent duty on it at the moment but um yeah, I tried playing that card and uh, they said we don't have a trade deal yet with Australia but yeah, if you think that's coming, that's pretty interesting because that'll um, make the product a little bit cheaper for our customers and stuff. So obviously try and make it as cheap as possible. Keep the margins really low. But yeah, so um, yeah, waiting for that shipment to come in. Hopefully it'll all go well. That was I did that a little bit, um, a little bit different because what with um, all this crazy coronavirus going on and ah. Uh, Delivery charges went up three times. It went from about a pound a tub to um, four pound a tub. So instead of getting it sea freight and over in four days, no, sorry, air freight and over in four days, we went for the sea freight, which is supposed to be six weeks, but it's it's already been ten weeks now. So uh, we're cutting it a little bit fine, but it's all to try and get it a little bit cheaper for the customers. It's all a little bit interesting, but um, yeah, we're getting there, and then. I thought I'd come on live as well because I learned something today. I've got a million and one things going on like websites, duty, um, trying to create content and um, working with marketers and trying to just do the, trying to focus on what the next best move is rather than doing loads of stuff and not really progressing and getting anywhere. And I started a book today. It was called um, The One Thing. 
and it was quite interesting because the person who I buy the quender off, Simon, who helped me with my Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, he said, what you want to do is just one thing a day. Just focus, like, on your to-do list, just focus on doing one thing and everything else will come. Don't try to overcomplicate it. And then, sure enough, as the years go by, you do get a little complicated. I always have three things personal and three things business on my to-do list. But, yeah, it was explaining in that book today, The Domino's Effect. And it says, obviously, when you line up the dominoes, it just takes pushing over one dominoes and then that can that just continues. So it's all about just doing that one thing every day and uh, building up that momentum. And another interesting thing it said was with the dominoes, one dominoes can always knock over another dominoes that's 50% heavier. So then it just shows how you build up in increments just by doing little by little every day rather than overcomplicating it. So I just, I, it made me feel a little bit happier because you never really know how everything's going to figure out and uh, work out in life. But yeah, and I just thought, just keep it simple, one thing at a time, do the one big thing every day, the one big job, and then it will work out and you will start going in the right direction. I definitely have been overcomplicating things at the moment. It's, um, yeah, there's just a lot to do. But um, yeah, I thought I'd go on live spread the word a little bit more and looking forward to uh, doing that interview with uh, Josh tomorrow because he um, he wants to spread the word because he's super excited but yeah that, that's about it really I just wanted to come say hello and uh, and also what's going on with this all locking inside the houses and stuff I guess some people you go into work and nothing's changed but um, with myself I'm I'm just at home with my mum on the farm and pretty crazy i went to morrison's yesterday and everyone's wearing the mask so you can't even really say hello or speak to anyone it's uh yeah getting uh, a little bit lonely so you've got to just do stuff what makes you happy every day a little thing that i've been um doing is making sure i dance every day because uh, that makes me happy you've got to move your body to get happy and get the endorphins flowing so i always put some music on and make sure i dance at least once a day and um, just feel good. I don't know what everyone else does to. Um... Hey, Ronnie, you all right? Yeah, I don't know what everyone else does to um, stay happy in this uh, lockdown and stuff. But I don't know about you. I'm proper missing people and doing things. But um, yeah, best friends, my phone and my laptop at the moment. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, dance every day. Keep smiling and just do what makes you happy. Try to get outside as well. A little bit of cold exposure and fresh air will do you some good. Hey Kaz, <laughs> nice to see you here. This is my first live. I thought I'd just uh, pop on, see what it's all about, and let people know where I'm at in life and uh, what I've learned today. And the lesson we take away from it is dance every day and uh, just focus on doing one thing every day and do the best thing and do it right. But yeah. Keep smiling. Nice to see you all anyway. See you later.